Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, this is Lonely Boy Three Two Three. Uh, coming back at you with the uh, HTC Evo. Yes, today we're gonna be talking about the HTC Evo and its uh, recent update. Um, if you didn't know, um, HTC um, just released a new update. I don't know if it was from HTC or Sprint, but um, they released a new update. Um, it's not 2.3. Gingerbread, by the way, so <laughs> don't get all excited. But uh, after all, even though this updates a uh, little small updates, little add-ons, um, it's pretty good. Um, if people don't know how to check what software number you have, uh, you click menu, uh, click menu on your phone, uh, click settings, and go to uh, system. Uh, no, uh, go to phone. No, about phone. My bad. Go to about phone. Click about phone. Um, once you Go to um, about phone. Um, click on software information. Once you click software information, uh, check your software number. Um, just like this, or the, the screen should be like this. And if um, your software number is not um, 3.70.651.1, uh, update your phone. Um, the way you update your phone, guys, is um, click menu. Click settings, go all the way down to see system updates. Uh, once you see, see systems updates, click HTC software update. Make sure the schedule the schedule um, update is checked, and then um, on the bottom press uh, check now. And the update should take about 15 to 20 minutes under 4G, uh, depending on your uh, area. Um, I recommend you use 4G. Um, the because um. The, Take pretty pretty long uh, to do it on 3G, but uh, if you don't have uh, if you don't have 4G in your area, I recommend you uh, plug your phone, uh, plug your phone um, so it can charge while you're doing it because uh, under 3G it might take about an hour to actually update. Um, so yeah, so if you don't have that uh, uh, software update number, um, update your phone. Um, I'm gonna be talking about uh, what's in that um, that update, and I'll also be showing you uh, what's available on it. Uh, according to um, Android Central, um, you could go to AndroidCentral.com and uh, look at these uh, specs yourself of this update. Um, according to this, um, what's new in this? Uh, New software number update. Um, they added a application called Black Blockbuster. Blockbuster. Um, Adobe Reader. They updated that. I mean, I know we had Adobe Reader before, but um, they updated. Uh, we have Kindle e-reader now. Uh, for Amazon, if you want to read books. Uh, they also uh pre preloaded uh, an application called Nava from Game Loft. Uh, basically, there is you could buy games, try out games. Um, yeah, and they updated the Sprint Zone. There was an update on that. The latest uh, Tele Navigator, uh, they updated the Navigator as well. Uh, latest VVM, so I'm guessing VVM app means um, voicemail, no visual voicemail. So I'm guessing that's what that is. Uh, we updated the Sprint TV app. Um, another good thing, guys. I know you're gonna like this. They updated the keyboard. Um, it's a new keyboard, um, so we don't have to wait for 2.3. Um, also, now the um, the 4G switch or the 4G widget is not just gonna sit there now and you know be on. Just sometimes, because I know sometimes you have it on and it's not even scanning for, for 4G, it's just sitting there. Uh, but now it's supposed to be scanning it. Um, and I noticed since I did the update, the internet's a little bit faster. So I don't know if that has to do anything with that. Um, so basically, what I'm going to do first is um, I already told you everything it has. So um, just to make ourselves clear, it has Blockbuster app. It has Adobe Reader, Kindle Reader, uh, Nava application, Sprint Zone update, latest uh, Tele Navigator, latest uh, voicemail application, latest Sprint TV app, 
um, new keyboard it's called swipey some shit like that uh, SWYPE uh, and the 4G widget um, okay um, I'm gonna be talking first about the Blockbuster app for some people that you guys don't know I didn't even know this until uh, I actually tried to use the Blockbuster uh, you have the Blockbuster app here um, on, right on the where all the applications are you click bus bus blockbuster you have to be a current subscriber um and i thought um you know you can watch unlimited movies for as much as you want but i i saw that on uh there's a bad thing about them they charge you 2.99 per movie uh or uh, 14.99 if you want to buy it uh i thought it was going to be like um netflix where you could uh, watch as many as you want for a flat rate uh no so um but it has all the new releases and all the old movies so um if you guys are into that and have the money to pay <laughs> $2.99 or $14.99 for each movie and go for it it's there now um the kindle reader um the kindle reader is just like uh the kindle reader on the uh on the um, iPhone and iPod Touch, uh, basically here you have to buy all your books. Uh, I tried it a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I didn't seem to find any books free, so you have to basically buy them. Um, but that's another good option, you know, to use uh, when you're in a place stuck. Uh, you can leave that place for a long time. Kind of um, something to keep yourself entertained too. Um, so yeah, Kendo is now available on your HTC Evo. Uh, they also, um, let's see what else. Oh yes, the Android market, guys. The Android market, I know it's not a big deal, but um, for me it is. The Android market has like a new, like new interface. It's not like the old Android market as before, as you see. As that's the home page of the Android market. Uh, let's say you click on an app, it looks as it looks different as well. Um, you see, you could also see uh, pictures before you update, oh, before you download, before you buy that application. Uh, it had it before, but uh, it has this like more smoother type of thing. You can scroll down, up and down, more easier without the hassle. Um, so that's uh, a good thing to keep in mind, guys. Um, another thing um, they updated was they say the Sprint TV. Let's check it out. I haven't checked them out myself. Oh, here's the uh, Nava application, guys. I know you guys are big gamers and shit. I'm not. And I uh, personally don't like games at all. But um, uh, yeah, I think it's just one game. I don't think it's actually a game center. I don't think it's actually a game center. I thought it was a game center, but uh, I think they just it's just one game. They get added. So it's not a game center, from my knowledge. I don't know. I don't like games. So if uh, you have you guys have any information about the Nava application by Game Blast, uh, guys, uh, in the comment below, please. Uh, let's check out Spring TV. Supposedly, there's an update. On that. Okay, um, I don't know what could possibly be an update, but let's check it out. It doesn't hurt, right? Um, it looks the same to me. I don't see no difference. This is the same channel. Uh, let's see. Let's see how long it takes to uh, upload uh, the Disney Channel channel. I don't know. Uh, oh, shake it up. Um, okay, well, I think what they updated was um, if you notice, it's not blurry or lagging it to transfer. It's a little bit faster. It's uh, life. Before it used to like lag a lot. Like you could see a whole bunch of blurriness. Like if you were drunk, put it like that. So uh, I guess that's what they updated. Uh, Sprint Zone. 
Sprint Zone. I'm not really a fan of Sprint Zone, but um, it looks the same to me. I don't see no difference. Uh, another thing that I noticed, guys, um, because I did have a lot of trouble uh, with that with my evil before, is uh, the scrolling down and up. Um, before it would take a while to actually scroll up and down. Now it's like really smooth. Look. Uh, yeah, um, the Adobe Reader for people that have businesses or stuff like that. Adobe Reader looks way different. I don't have no PDAs file, or actually I do. I didn't even know. So there you go, I was playing some bingo game the other day. Um, I don't know uh, basically what the heck they updated there, because I don't use the PDF. Uh, Adobe Reader uh, application, so yeah. Um, well, another thing they updated, um, guys, uh, is the Gmail. The Gmail looks way different. Um, now uh, you could actually have the unimportant application, I mean, unimportant e email in one file, and the important ones in another file, in a, in a file called important. So um, basically, what that does, um, all the email that you think is important for you to be known every time you get an email from that person, uh, you get an update. And for all, all the other, 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 other emails, um, uh, you'll get notified. You'll get notified still, but four hours. Uh, you know, but the important folder will let you know right away as soon as you get it. Um. Yeah, and that's basically it, guys. Um, that's basically the update. Um, I don't see nothing else different. So, uh, if you have any other questions, guys, uh, feel free to let me know. Um, I'm hope um, you guys. Uh, I hope I'm getting better at this. Uh, right now, um, at first, I'm just kind of camera shy. Uh, but yes, um, hopefully you like this. This is my first review. Um, hope to see um, Android 2.3 Gingerbread uh, on my phone soon. I was actually pretty excited when I saw the uh, uh, update notification. I actually thought it was going to be Gingerbread or some shit like that. Um, but I guess not. Um, please comment, subscribe, and rate this. Um, so uh, guys, uh, let me know how that update that update um goes for you guys. Uh, for me, I haven't tested it quite yet. I got um on YouTube uploaded this video as soon as I got that update because um, I think I should let my viewers know what's going on on the Android view and the Android world. I mean, uh, anyways, uh, this is uh, Lonely Boy three two three. Um, don't forget to uh, subscribe, add me, um, all that good stuff. Um, if you got a MySpace, add me as well. Uh, www.myspace.com. Um, the little line, I forgot what the heck it's called. D E N N one nine nine zero. Yeah, so it's basically Dennis, but it's that instead no I S. So it's D E N N one nine nine zero. That's my space. Alright. So anyways guys. I'm out.